Joining us live at this time for perspective is Yevna Kaber, former diplomat and advisor to the Ukrainian Prime Minister from Istanbul in Turkey. With us also is Velina Shakorova, director of the Austrian Institute for European and Security Policy uh, from Vienna in Austria. Uh, welcome. I want to go across to Yevgina first for her sense of the battle as it's playing out, the big information coming in, a uh, claim made by the governor uh, of the city of Kharkiv, that Kharkiv has been taken back. So it seems even on day four, Vladimir Putin's troops haven't been able to physically hold on to any of the territorial gains they've been claiming. Uh, yes, hello and thank you for, you can hear me, right? I hear you well, ma'am, yes. Uh, yes, uh, thank you for uh, for the invitation. Uh, yeah, as you said, absolutely, truly, so far, there is no single administrative center or big city which has been taken by Russians. And that is on the fourth day of this invasion. So uh, the initial idea, actually, of this blitzkrieg and of a, a very pleasant walk through Ukraine actually did not work. And that was uh, one of the reasons why Putin was furious yesterday and there are talks and rumors that he changed the chief of staff of the Russian army because of this failure of Ukrainian campaign. So the situation is not easy now. We still have clashes and we still have uh, problems with the um, some kind of uh, ammunition in different uh, parts of Ukraine. We still, we still have shellings like in Kiev, in Kharkiv, in many different parts of the country. So it's still a very, very hot conflict. Plus, we should not also forget about the aggression from the sea. We also have uh, the another front, which is a front from the Black Sea, uh, which has been blocked by Russians as well. But uh, generally, and uh, speaking overall, it's a really a huge success of Ukrainian army at the moment. And the tactics of the Russians has changed a lot. So now it looks like they are trying to cause as much damage as possible, not only to some kind of strategically important uh, facilities or airports or, let's say, say defensive facilities or military facilities, but also to the residential areas, to gas pipelines, to Chernobyl and other NPPs, uh, to some kind of chemical factories and so on, just to cause as much uh, damage to civilians as possible, including hospitals, including uh, children, including uh, all kind of uh, blood donation centers and so on. So now we're talking about war crimes by the Russian Federation and not only about the invasion. Valina Shakharova, this is undisputedly a huge setback for the battle plans made by uh, the Russian army. Your sense of why they're not being able to hold on to territory? Did they not war game this adequately? Did they not anticipate the level of Ukrainian residents? Or do you think that the plans that were made are just crumbling in the face of reality? I think it's both on the one side, uh, uh, there was a hope for a blitz uh, success in this military operation, as uh, the other colleague uh, outlined uh, for you, and uh, this is not happening. Uh, Ukraine is putting up a fight. There is a resistance not only coming from the Ukraine defense, but also from the civilian population. Uh, the whole international community, with a few exceptions, is uh, siding with Ukraine. There is a perpetual flow of arms, ammunition, funds coming to Ukraine from all, not just from the European uh, member states uh, and from the European states, uh, but also from international partners. So this has a psychological effect, of course. The very fact that uh, Ukraine is resisting and is sustaining a successful defense is uh, is a is a good uh, is good news now what on the other side on the downside of uh, the current uh, full scale military operation there is still of course much to happen and hopefully this is not going to be the case however uh, russian troops uh, who have been uh, amassed uh, along ukraine's borders uh, for the last uh, two and a half three months are still not fully deployed um, and of course, uh, Russia has uh, many uh, more uh, weapon systems and uh, military tactics at disposal. Okay. Which is why we should be very, very careful now to. Oh, sure. Uh, As the desperation the increases, phase. the level of violence and the nature of the armaments being used 
could also be scaled exactly. up, making things more brutal, more bloody. Exactly.